Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to Path of Radiance with Robberlink. Hello. So, where we last left off, we finally got Nasala to uh, buzz off. He would have taken the other crows with him if uh, we hadn't already killed them. But, um, mm. hey, the more experience for us. Yes. So all that's left is Homasa and his buddies. The only witch that will move appears to be the priest, which is good. All right, so yes, you can make it here. How much will you do? Eh, you'll do something. Uh, who else can reach? You can't quite reach, but with your help, you can. Hmm. So you can reach up to there. You can only get up to there. Okay. Um. So I think I'm planning on having him go there, him attack. And some people go around here to get moved up, probably. Okay. Just making sure you're not planning on playing race in, like, next to Homasa. I don't think he can, can he? Oh, yeah, he actually can. Yeah, okay. Because remember, he's got a sonic sword. So yes, he can. I remember that. Yeah. I just want to see, how much can you actually do to a mage of mine? Zero damage, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, I think the way they work is that if someone's in their standby range, they can reposition to attack them. So, like, if I have Sorn here attack and no one else is blocking him, on his turn he may see that someone's in attack range already, and then he may reposition to use his melee sword. It's, because that'd be a better option. Yeah. So, I think he can move hmm. if it's just to reposition to someone who's already in range. Because I think that's what happened with... Uh, Norris, when he attacked someone, I forget who. I don't know if it was Marshall Marcia. or someone else. Because, did he have a longbow? Yes. And I think because someone was in longbow range, but he decided to use a different bow, he actually moved. And I think that's how it works. Alright, let's get this show started. Yeah, that won't kill him, but it'll do something as long as you hit. And you won't take damage anyways. So why not? <laughs> nope. Sidestep that. Uh, it's it's to... funny when you dodge, when you won't take damage in the first place. <laughs> so this so fast, this guy can't attack him more than once. Because I remember this guy has tons of speed. He's 20 speed. But so is so. <laughs> That's actually low for him because 20 would be his max probably if he was not classed up. But he's classed up. Yeah. Alright, so... Can you check what Mia is? Or not, because she's not here. She's not here, so probably not. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, if you could still find her in a... roster or something. But probably not. Okay, if I move you up, you should be able to also... retreat after attacking, then. Alright, you go there. You go here <laughs> I don't know uh, I'm just not positive if I'll kill him in one turn but hmm. I, mean, I probably should be able to I mean, yeah you can just between like Oscar and Ike Okay, go for that. Heavy bow time. Like, eh, still got over 40 health. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> it's like, geez, I thought Sheenon was the one with Provoke Void. How much will you do to this guy? My god, I just realized, what if you could get Provoke and put it on, like, Gatchery? <laughs> I wouldn't be good against mages, though. <laughs> no, but against everyone else. All right, you can perfectly kill this dude. Do it. I can rescue you if need be. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting to realize just how OP this blossom can be. <laughs> All right. You still have 19 health.
All right, let me just make sure I can definitely still kill you. 19... 14... Hmm. So as long as I get some health on you off, that should be fine. Plus, I want to do this, so... Just move you there, so you can be affected by it too. Chant. Oh. Uh, Halo theme. Oh. oh, you still need healing. You get on that. <laughs> Heal is enough. Wow. I expect it to require mend. Hmm. Did anyone else still need healing? Well, now you do, but... Yeah, the rest of you are pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you I don't know what I want to do with. <laughs> I don't need... The crow. I mean, if nothing else, you can have Soren heal him if Soren's not needed for anything. Yeah, that would definitely hurt because of the wind bonus. Alright, you can't kill him. That's annoying. How much would you take from other dude? Yeah, that's yeah, a lot. Ugh. With a tiny bit of crit chance as well. is getting annoying. Alright, tell you what, you go There's here. There's only three enemies left. Why is it taking so long? Yeah. Our viewers, probably. Actually, you want to just sneak in there and take care of him? That'll work. Sure, go for it. Misses. Like, if you dare... Oh my god. You jinxed it. How could you? <laughs> You're a terrible person. You know that, right? Yes. But it is funny, so I accept it. You will probably die from this because massive magic damage. How would that go? You would not do a whole lot. How will this go? That would be adequate. And then can you kill him? I guess not. Wow, you suck. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? You just do this. Maybe I should get ready to kill you. I don't know. I just don't want to accidentally get Brom killed. Hmm. That would be bad. Maybe you should just rescue So then. I think So will live. Alright. At least against the magic sword. But he might not use the magic sword. What? Really, Brom? You had like an 82% chance of hitting. I screw you! Well, you know, if I miss one or two people, whatever. Let me just, uh get ready for the final attack. Yeah, that's not good. I will go for the experience. Ouch. you might not even hit. Uh, which is annoying. Uh, put him a bit closer to Ike, maybe? Hmm. Alright, let's try it. My sword is lightning. No, it's wind. <laughs> Do you think you can follow its dance? And don't interrupt me. Ow! <laughs> oh. Quait. I missed? What? Oh, 
All right, you could kill him. He can't hurt you. All right. You may be able to adapt, which could kill him, actually. Here. What will you do? That, that'll that actually still hurt you. I don't like that crit chance. Oh, yeah. You have, like, nine more resistance. That's why. All right. If he adapts, this could be a game ender, but that is okay. Yeah. Just do it. This is how you win magic, you plebeian. It wouldn't have hurt anyways, but if you wish to evade it, go ahead. It didn't even look like he evaded. Actually, could he? Could she kill um the priest? Nope. <laughs> but she should be able to kill this dude. If the priest has to live, that's fine. I don't think I have anyone else to spare to sh uh, to uh, chase after him. No war crimes today. Yeah, all that's left is you. And he's out of range. Yeah. Okay, Ike, finish him off. Ha <laughs> ha Do it. Want to be fancy and go for Aether? Kidding. Your fighting style is unique. I've been watching you murder all my men from afar, because I will not budge from this spot. It is rough and awkward. Yet terribly strong. Who was your teacher? My father. Really? Then we are the same. My father taught me to wield a sword as well. Neither of us can afford to lose. Yep, there's Aether. Thank you. Goodbye. The shame. I have dishonored my family. <laughs> like, yes, you have. Now get out of here. <laughs> Love how Ike just immediately aethers. <laughs> like, yeah, I have no time for you. I like the level up you got too. Yes. All right, one priest, get out of here. We won. Somehow, quote unquote. <laughs> it's because you did an excellent job of driving off the ravens. Yeah, if we had continued to fight them, we would have suffered more casualties than this. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> well, there was Rolf, who got resurrected, just like uh, Marsha. True. I must extend thanks to Rayson. My Lord Ike, I'm pleased to see you well. You haven't been injured, have you? Princess Alencia, I'm fine. I'm unharmed. Oh, that's good. Ike, may I have a word? And if you don't mind, Princess Silencia, would you join us as well? Please join me in that building. What could it be? Let's go see. This is... Holy. Incredible, no? It's gold. All of it. Dane must be filthy rich. There's so much, it doesn't even seem real. What do we do with it? It's the spoils of war, so naturally it's ours. In that case, I'd like to borrow 50000 Would that be alright? That's a lot of money. What are you planning on doing? It's a private matter. Wasn't that what Volk wanted? Oh yeah, I think you're right. I apologize, Commander. You're not a child. There's no reason for me to pry. Hmm. My Lord Ike. Please use this gold for the mercenary company. Until now, I haven't had the resources to adequately pay them, so please. No, if I may borrow the 50,000, that will be more than... You won't borrow it, you'll accept it, and in good faith. The remainder will give to Soren for company maintenance. Would that be alright, Princess Alencia? Yes, of course. I'm going to go and question why Dan just has a giant gold stockpile near their border. <laughs> Where it's very vulnerable. Well, they didn't think it would ever fall, I guess. True. Grr. Uh, General Petrine. Please, General. I'm just... 
Messenger. However, I have to tell you. I already heard, you dunderhead. I hated those filthy crows right from the start. Even so, to be betrayed in such a fashion, so quickly. <laughs> Grr, someone will pay for this. And you're the only one in range of my fury. Oh, you certainly had your way with us, didn't you, King Kilvis? But if you want to make an enemy of Dayan, then so be it. Once Gallia's fallen, yeah, once Gallia's fallen, we'll turn our attention to your puny nation and wipe it off the face of the world. Not the Earth. This, in, this isn't Earth. <laughs> Is she just going to keep monologuing? <laughs> Why are you still here? Do you find me amusing? Shall I make my lance dance for you? No, ma'am. No, never. Not at all. I, I beg your pardon. So sorry. I'll be going now. Oh my god, I'm gonna get away alive? <laughs> Dog's breath. I need something. Toothpaste? <laughs> A brilliant <laughs> plan. If this continues much longer, the king will have my head. If this horrible breath goes on too much longer, he'll have my head. <laughs> you wanted to see me? You've waited a long time. Take this. It's the gold you were promised. Finally scraped it together, eh? I'll gladly accept it. Aren't you going to count it? There's no need. I trust you. <coughs> All right. Then I'll take what was promised. The report you wrote for my father. There isn't one. What? You son of a... <laughs> Do I need to kill you? <laughs> Aether! <laughs> There is no report. Never was. I scammed you. <laughs> you lied to me? You exploited my need to know more about my father? There is something I must tell you. However, it could not be written down. It is too great of a, of a secret for that. Your father told me to wait until I thought you were mature enough to hear it, and then to tell you myself. By mature, I mean mature enough to hand over 50,000 gold. <laughs> mature? And what was the 50,000 gold for? Ah, the gold. That was my idea. I thought it would be a good way to test how resourceful and responsible you were. Sure. Get started. I want to hear it all. I've spent a long time as Grail's hired shadow. A long time. I remained hidden from sight in case the day ever arrived that I needed to fulfill my contract. All that time. For one job. What was it? If Grail were ever to go berserk, I was to stop him. I was to take his life. Go berserk? He's not a berserker class. What? <laughs> what? Actually, there was one other thing. If Grail were ever slain by his pursuers, I was to watch over his son and tell him Grail's secret at an appropriate time. That was my job. Berserk? What are you talking about? Why would you have to kill my father? Because of Laren's medallion. What medallion? What are you talking about? The medallion your sister carries. Huh? That old bronze thing? I thought it was just a keepsake of my mother's. Are you telling me that there's something more? Are you telling me that it's something more? Grail told me it was a secret... Or no, wait. Grail told me it was an object of great peril but nothing more. I did some investigating on my own, though. And what I discovered surprised me. Tell me. Laren was one of the Heron clan, an ancestor of our Prince Rayson, who carried with them a bronze medallion. Long, long ago, a band of heroes defeated an evil god and imprisoned it therein. An evil god? Do you think this is funny? You are joking, aren't you? Unfortunately, I'm not. And I've no idea how the cursed thing came to be in Grail's possession. That being said, I do know that the men who hunted your father were actually seeking the medallion. Why they wanted it and what they planned to do with it. Just thinking about it gives me the chills gives me chills. I'm finding all of this a little hard to believe. 
You said the medallion was an object of great peril, didn't you? Then why would my father allow Miss to carry it around? That doesn't make any sense. It's because she can carry it safely. Actually, she's the only one who can. If you want proof, think back. Have you ever once touched it? No, I haven't. A long time ago, I remember reaching out for it while Mist had it in her hand. My father scolded me harshly. After that, I assumed it was my sister's alone, and I never reached for it again. Compared to other people, the balance within your sister is extremely strong. The balance? Hmm. I didn't misread it, did I? No, okay. No, I'm just thinking. Like, yeah. Oh, what does he mean? Your mother, it seems, was the same. That's why they could bear it safely. The medallion is like a strong poison. It takes the worst aspects of a person and magnifies them a thousandfold. Grail, touch Grail touched it only once, and it drove him to complete madness. So that's what you meant when you said he went berserk? That's right. Bjork and Laguz are made up of two forces, balance and chaos. In this, there is no difference between us. It is the proportion of balance to chaos that determines how much the medallion affects a person. In that sense, it predicts how much harm that person might do. Your father was one of the preeminent swordsmen of his generation. That day, after he touched the medallion, twenty soldiers had come for him. Twenty highly trained killers. Your father barely broke a sweat cutting them down. Then he began attacking his neighbors, those who had taken him in, concealed his identity, and called him friend. He, he slew them one by one, until your mother rushed in, thinking only to save her husband from himself. It was over in an instant. Your mother grabbed the medallion from his hand and stepped away from him. They say she smiled as she pulled his sword from her breast and forgave him as her life's blood spilled into the street. My father? Killed my mother? No, that can't be. It was the medallion. Its power is too great for any man even one of your father's caliber. Me, you, if either of us touched it, I'm certain that we both would have been consumed by madness. When your father regained his senses, he tracked me down. It seems he'd heard rumors of me some time before. He said he had need of someone like me, close-mouthed, skilled, and most, important, and most importantly, willing to do any sort of work. Of course, after hearing what he wanted me to do, I turned him down. Grail was once a famed general. He was Sir Gawain, one of Dane's four riders, and I recognized him at once. Ah, so he was... Huh. That's why he was Patrine's equal, because Patrine is now one of the four riders. Oh. I don't know if she replaced him or if someone else... But, yeah. There was no chance someone like me would ever be able to stop him. But you took the job anyway. Why did you change your mind? Grail had lost his wife, and his grief was overpowering. To keep anything like that from happening again, he crippled himself. He slashed the tendons in his sword hand so that he could not wield a sword again. And that's why he didn't fight the Black Knight with the sword. Hmm. So I guess... I don't know, the way you wield an axe... I guess probably the way Grail wields the axe would probably be with the force in his offhand then. I guess. I took the job only because he had become someone my skill could handle. And even then, he was still far stronger than most men. I... I don't know what to say. Dang. That is Grail's secret, as I know it. 
I now entrust you the responsibility of seeing that the medallion does not fall into the wrong hands. Your sister must keep it. As my father lay dying, he told me to forget everything and, to, and live in peace. What did he mean? He didn't want you to lose yourself and go hunting for, for revenge, I suppose. He was killed much, much sooner than he ever expected to be. So my father's dying wish was for me to protect the medallion? If I can do that, everything will be alright? I believe so. At the very least, that must take precedent over everything else. I understand. Oh, one last thing. What is it? Do you want to hire me? In the event that you go berserk someday. If we make a deal now, you won't have to worry about it anymore. As for payment, I can take it out of the 50000 you just gave me. What do you say? Sure, why not? <laughs> Probably not going to use you in place of Soth, but sure. Please. Ah, my throat's hurting. <laughs> That's a wise decision. And in that case, I no, I no longer need to conceal my true identity. Huh? I am your father. <laughs> oh, what? Ah, so he's revealing that he's not actually a thief. I'll remember this. Probably because I never hired him. You didn't? Probably not. At least not at this point, because I had so. Or I just didn't use thieves, really. Well, I do remember this. Unfortunately, that means he's going from 10 to classing up, which means he's losing some potential stats. Yeah. But now he's an assassin. You know what? Give me just a sec to, try to take a drink. Because <laughs> <laughs> my throat is hurting. Yeah, I had to take a sip earlier, and uh, Fido looked at me with a glare. I just I just want to make sure you're not too close to the mic while I'm talking doing that. Otherwise, yeah. you'll just hear glug, glug, glug in the background. <laughs> like this. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I'm not really a thief. Sorry, I was just closing the thing, but it has like a snappy cap thing. So it makes a noise. <laughs> I'm not really a thief. I'm an assassin. From now on, I'll take on any job you've got, no matter how dirty. <laughs> All right, I need to hire you to roll around in the mud. That's plenty <laughs> dirty. <laughs> but you don't care, right? No matter how dirty. I need you to impersonate this this very valuable pig so we can kidnap it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. We should get back to the seriousness. All right. <clears throat> Father, mother, oh, why? I mean... Yeah, that is, uh, something else, though. Jeez. Ah, uh, more talking. Can't we just destroy the medallion? <laughs> the kingdom of Dan lies on the north, the northernmost edge of Tellius. Its coastline is bathed in the icy currents of the northern sea, and frigid winds howl I... Oh, <laughs> and frigid winds howl inland with terrible ferocity. As a result, day and winters are raw and brutal. Ice and snow scour the land, leaving frozen scars in their wake. Through these blizzards, General Ike and the Crimean army press ever forward. Benyon's Imperial Senate may have lent Crimea troops, but even they doubt that the army can successfully fight off Dayan. Yet somehow, Ike and company defy all odds and capture victory after victory. Embracing both Princess Silencia's dream of a liberated Crimea and the tragic history of his parents, Ike marches in grim silence. So is Benyon officially at war with Dan now, or? They're at least helping. Yeah. Chapter 20, Defending Talrega. Is this the place that uh, Jill is from? Not sure. Because I remember hearing Talrega. Might be. This can only mean one thing. The enemy knows exactly how we are going to move. With your permission, I'll begin an investigation to see if there's anyone suspicious among the troops. 
Ike? Ike, are you all right? Hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry, what, what is it? Nothing. I was just giving you the standard update. Shall I put it off till later? No, sorry, but can you start over from the beginning? I'll pay attention this time. Understood. Good morning, you two. What's wrong, Ike? You look so sleepy. I've had a lot on my mind. I meant to sleep last night, but I was up thinking. Before I knew it, it was morning. Really? I never thought I'd hear that. Ike didn't sleep because he was thinking. I wonder if Soren will start being polite. Screw you. <laughs> Listen to Tanya. Can I just... The brother, Ike. What's wrong, Mist? What am I going to do, Ike? My medallion's gone. This seems coincidental, given that we just learned what it is. What? It's gone? No. What am I going to do? It was my only memento of mother. Did you drop it? Or put it somewhere and forget? Something like that? No. I always carry it with me. I would never lose it. I had it before I went to bed last night. It vanished while I was sleeping. <laughs> don't cry. It's not your fault. But, but... I said don't cry. I'll find it, all right? I'll... right. Sorry. All right, folk, where are you? Uh, are you serious? You are to begin immediately. Yet that's... General Patrine. If we do this thing, Dan will suffer. It's for the good of the country. Besides, it's only one territory. Stop mewling like an old woman. I hear you, and yet... If the goal is merely to stop the Crimean army, this is not necessary. The strength of my troops will suffice to. The last idiot who told me that ended up on a corpse pile. Now listen to me and listen well. No matter how passionate you are, when you tell me you'll defeat Crimea, I'll never pin my hopes on a bunch of foreigners. All you have to do is stop their forward progress. That's all. My plan will accomplish this. General Patrine, do you truly think so little of us? It's true that we were born in Benyon and not Dayan, but my men and I have been loyal to this country for 18 years. We have spared no effort to learn all the proper manners and customs of this land. But now, after all that, to be dismissed as a bunch of foreigners. No one asks how long you've lived here. Want to know why? Because no one cares. Certainly not me. Where were you born? Huh? Where were you raised? Ha! Huh. This country doesn't need squatters like you. The only people Dayan can count on in times of crisis are Dayans themselves. Everyone else is just gutter leavings. So we're useless. Is that what you're saying? You tell me, migrant. Why is it that your unit, which guards... Wait. Why is it that your unit, which was trained to be an elite royal guard, is here patrolling this hick-infested backwater? The answer's clear to me. How about you? I... I... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I offending you? Well, here's your chance to show us your worth. Halt Crimea's advance. If you are as skilled as you claim, you should be able to limit the damage to its bare minimum, should you not? Huh. Angry is a good look for you. I look forward to seeing the results of your work. Get going, Outlander. G General Shihara, must we truly go through with this? It's such a horrific act. It's only recently that the citizens hereabouts have even come to trust us. We have no choice but to obey. It's as the woman says. The only thing we can do is ensure the Crimean army is defeated as soon as possible. General. Open the floodgates. Do it now. Ike. 
Ike, just a bit more. Would you mind re hearing my report on our last battle? Uh, sure. Go ahead, please. Very well. All right, so we got a ton of money. That's nice. And a decent decent chunk of bonus bonus experience. Nice. MVP Ike, because he did Aether so many times. Yep. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. That is all. With your leave, I will excuse myself. All right. And are we back at base? All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, it's a bit over time, so we should end it here. I will say, though, I don't like how Patrina operates. <laughs> yeah. Not really, uh... Not really how you keep loyalty. Just insulting your troops. Yeah. Also, I need to definitely get more to drink between episodes because my throat is still hurting. Mm. <laughs> All right. But I think we'll leave it here and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.